Pacham! Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kika and today we are going to style some lace tops. Last week I did my first ever spring outfit ideas. Uh, sort of a lookbook video and I had so much fun doing it and it got a lot of positive response so thank you for that uh, so I got encouraged to do a similar type of video and today I want to focus on styling some lace tops lace tops are such a go-to piece in my wardrobe and I think it's really one of those things that you can pair and combine with different things and then you get a very different feel and vibe to your outfit but without further ado Let's get to it. All right, lace top number one is this one, like super frilly, has a lot of details. I bought this at Zara and uh, it's just like a very, very feminine silhouette. And it's very nice because it has like this kind of sheer fabric. So it drapes really nicely and just looks, looks really pretty on you. And because it's so feminine and frilly, I paired it with this uh, skirt that has sort of a very geometrical pattern and is quite well, I guess um, a little bit school teacher, student, uh, Britney Spears uh, vibes going on there, but I quite like it because it's sort of together, they look quite nice. And again, you get that sort of structure together with this like very feminine uh, romantic top. I think I could have gone down a size. It's from Monkey and they often, I find, have a bit of like big sizes. But then with the boots, I think it looks really nice and it has that kind of attitude. I put my hair up also. I feel like it has like a little bit of like this kind of French vibe, which I'm really uh, trying to channel at the moment. <laughs> and then um, I paired it with this. It's like a cropped sweater. Um, and again, it's quite nice because it's cropped, so you can sort of see the little detail uh, of the hem of the lace top underneath. And also because uh, it is May and it's still not that warm outside, I paired it with this uh, pink fluffy thingamathing. Bonus tip, you don't have to wear tights when you have this very warm padded thingy up above. Also, I must say, I'm very proud that I went up in the streets and did all those looks. I get so awkward still when people look and especially like with this posing stuff, like, oh my God, but maybe it will get easier with time. Okay, moving on to the next one. Are you ready for this? A leopard print dungaree dress. Oh my God. Um, okay, there is arguably something about 90s sort of glam rockers uh, meeting farm girl, <laughs> which is a little bit questionable. I don't know what I feel about that. But again, like when I wore this, it just feels somehow very cool and has like some kind of attitude, even though I thought I was sort of over animal prints. There is something I like with uh, combining things that really sort of inherently are from very sort of different genres of styles. Um, and I, I mean, I just love dungarees, love dungaree dresses. They're just so comfortable to wear. And this one is from Monkey. It's quite oversized, but with the lace top, I think it fits quite nicely. And again, with the boots, gotta have the boots. Uh, I think it's a very interesting, yeah, interesting, I think is the word, uh, outfit. Next up, we have pairing it with the basic blue jeans, or uh, in my case, these kitty jeans. I mean, check out those babies on the knees. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, these are also from Monkey. I found them on sale like some years ago. I tried to find if they still have them on eBay or somewhere. I'm not sure, but you could definitely buy a pair of jeans and just embroider this. I always get so many comments when I wear these. These are like the coolest jeans ever. I tried pairing them with this lace top and also this one from Cezanne. Uh, they both have like a bit of a different feeling and you can tuck in the Cezanne one. It's a little too big on me. Um, and but as you can see, it's just like super easy outfit and it's just perfect for spring or summer. I have seen this look with this kind of baker boy hat all over the Instagram, but I don't know. I don't think this looks very good. Do you? <laughs> I think it's because my head is so big and this one like it's just too small. And then like your ears just sort of stick out on the sides like that's not how it's supposed to be. And then otherwise I have to like cram it on. Okay, I think we just have to lose the hat. <laughs> All right, moving on to one of my favorite lace tops. This one I have worn so much every summer. This one comes out and takes center stage in my wardrobe. It's really nice to wear just with like basic jeans or with like a skirt or just, I mean, basically anything. And for this one, I went a little bit wild and paired it with this polka dot 
uh, dungarees as well because I just feel like you know you can you can go crazy nowadays like with patterns and things and it still has that like the white polka dots and the white lace ties it nicely together there is a little bit clown danger alert but doesn't really bother me I think you can be playful and have fun with it as long as you feel comfortable Oh yes, what I forgot to say was uh, that underneath this lace top, because obviously they're kind of see-through often, I usually wear one of these kind of skin-colored uh, tops, uh, just so you don't have to worry about like some color from the bra or anything peeping through. All right, let's move on to this little baby. Now, admittedly, this is not a uh, lace top. This is more of like an embroidered top, but I still feel like it goes in the same category. Um, and this one, again, has a very, very girly and feminine feel very sort of bohemian and like had that sort of handicraft feeling because of the embroidered flowers which i really really find extremely charming and i sort of just went for it with this one and paired it with a blue dungaree dress i think uh even if you live in a city this is an outfit you can still wear and you know it looks like you just like came from the garden and just sort of popping into the city which i just find super yeah, it just has that country feeling, but like in a good way, you know, because I think of the little like uh, gingerbread hem here, um, it adds still the texture. And this is from my favorite brand, Cezanne, and it comes in a very, very high quality, I think this is cotton. So it just looks super charming, super playful, and it's just like very nice little combo. Oh, a super big spider, just, <gasps> all right. Hello, Spidey. All is well. Oh my god, where did it go? Ah! Okay, I hope it didn't crawl up my sleeve. That spider was like huge. It was like this big. Next up, we have wearing a lace top with a slip-on dress. Now, this one I actually bought in the lingerie section and that's actually a tip for you if you're looking for slip-on dresses because they are really nice to just wear over a t-shirt or a lace top. Go to the lingerie section and you might find really, really nice stuff. Okay, so the slip-on dress didn't really work out uh, with my other lace top because it was way too sort of frilly and bulky underneath, but I paired it with this uh, shirtless instead. And I think it's quite nice. And it has like sort of this like high uh, neckline, which has like this kind of 90s vibe, which usually I'm not a big fan of, but this sort of, I think works in a little bit of a like a grungy romantic way. I actually also the other day worked with this turtleneck uh, and with some tights and boots and I think that's also a pretty nice combo even though it's not technically a uh, lace top but still you get the gist of the possibilities with a little slip-on dress like this. Something that has absolutely nothing to do with video, this video but I thought would be interesting uh, maybe as a little, um, little bonus uh, breaker here in between um, is I want to share some experience from, I've worked in uh, several different retail shops and I also worked as a fitting model. So like in the studio when the designers make a piece of clothing, they have to try it on uh, real people. So I was one of those for both uh, Audubonly and other stories. And then I've also worked for um, all some sort of like fast fashion brands when I was like younger, but then for Marimekko and for other stories. And I thought some like interesting things um, or behavior when you see people, customers in the shop, what they usually try on. Like often people will go for the safe thing and will wear a lot of black and often will take a size that is too small for them, but that's another thing. Um, but I would actually say, you know, you can be much more experimental and fun with what you wear. And I think often people hold back from sort of buying these kind of a little bit of like special occasion outfits or clothing items, but I actually think that if you have some of those, like the leopard uh, dress dungaree thing, or, you know, something really glitzy or, you know, polka dot dungarees, because most people still have quite a lot of those basics, so then when you have these, like, a little bit extra things, uh, it's much more fun, it's much more playful, and, you know, it can give you so much sort of energy and cheerful <laughs> into your day when you have fun with what you wear instead of just like going with the same old, same old tried, you know, uh, thing that everybody else is wearing. Okay, that's it. That's what I wanted to say. Bye, see you over there. <laughs> For something super classic, pairing a lace top with a pair of black wide-legged trousers 
it's just ah so French I think <laughs> and just like the French women they know what they're doing so I think this is definitely a winner and the days when you don't have anything to wear just you know white lace top black trousers uh, some boots or even some sneakers just ooh ah very good and for a spaghetti strap uh, lace top I chose this one oh it's um, super wrinkly <laughs> sorry about that it has again a bit of a, like that lingerie look I don't know if I would wear it like this I mean, maybe in the summer you could, I guess, but I paired it with this floral dress, which otherwise it could be a little murky and heavy, but then you have this little peeping toot there, uh, which I just find uh, very unnice. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got some inspiration and maybe, oh, maybe to take that lace stuff out of the wardrobe and pair it with some funky and uh, nude styles. Funky? Hmm, that's not the right word. That's not the word you want to be using. My. If you like this video, please comment below and maybe if you have some other ideas, how do you usually wear your lace tops? Do you have a lace top? Hmm, very interesting existential questions. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you like this video, then hit that little thumb, maybe even subscribe and see you next time. Bye! I feel like at the moment I'm somewhere between sort of French woman chic and you know total farm girl country have no idea what i'm doing and sort of like the first time i am dabbling with fashion i'm sort of at that crossroads at the moment in my life um which gives result to some interesting outfits um and uh don't know where i'm going with this just some thoughts <laughs>